Hello viewers, so welcome back to the course on matrix computation and its application. So, in the previous lecture we have defined that how we can find a linear transformation from a vector space to another vector space. So, in this lecture we will continue with that one. So, now in the previous lecture we have discussed that we can define a linear transformation from a vector space to another vector space V if we are able to define T u i is equal to V i for so this is equal to V i where I have a base B that is made up of u 1, u 2 up to u n and another set is v 1, v 2, v n that belongs to the v and this is a basis of the vector space u. So, let us do one example that how we can find out the, so let us take one example. Suppose we have a, we want to define the linear transformation T from maybe suppose I want to take from 2 G V 2 to V 4. I know that V 2 is the vector space of 2 dimension and it is a 4 dimension and I want to define the linear transformation from this. Now, to know the linear transformation we need to find we need to check the basis. So, suppose, so for this one now let the set B I take as the basis 1 1 suppose I take and 1 minus 1. So, these are the basis of V 2 is a basis of V 2. Of course, this is linearly independent and 2 in number, so definitely it is a basis. Now, once I know the basis, I need to find a set of vectors also. So, let I take the vectors. So, maybe suppose I just take 1, 0, 0, 0, 2 vectors I need, or maybe I can take 1, 1, 0, 0, simple vector I am taking. Now, I need to find the linear transformation. So, what I need to do is that, so for finding the linear transformation, I will say that let my be a set in V 4. So, let I assume that T of 1 1 that goes to 1 0 0 and T of 1 minus 1 suppose it goes to 1 1 0 0. So, this one I have just defined the, that let the image of 1 1 is 1 0 0 0 and image of 1 minus 1 is this one. So, from here now I need to find the linear transformation. So, for this one now for any vector, suppose I take the vector u uh, belongs to, for any vector belongs to v 2 or maybe I just write any vector, uh, maybe I will define x belongs to v 2. we can write. So, suppose x is basically suppose it is x 1, x 2. Now, I can write this as x 1, x 2 is equal to some linear combination of the basis B 1 minus 1. Now, from here I need to find the value of A and B. So, this is my linear combination. So, you know from here that I will get a system of equation 
with this vector as the column vector and this one a b and that is going to be equal to x 1 and x 2. And this is the system of equation and this system is of equation is going to have going to give us a unique solution because it is the basis. So, I now I can solve this one. So, this is the way generally we solve we can write our its augmented matrix augmented matrix I represent by a tilde. So, this will be basically 1 1 1 minus 1 and it is x 1 x 2. Now, I need to convert this matrix into the row echelon form. So, I can write this matrix as minus r 1 plus r 2. So, I will get 1 1 x 1. Now, I multiply by minus 1 and adding. So, it will be 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2. So, minus x 1 plus x 2. So, it will be x 2 minus x 1. Now, from here you can see that based on this one we can write. So, we can write that minus 2 b will be equal to x 2 minus x 1. So, that gives me that b is equal to x 1 minus x 2 by 2 and also a plus b is equal to x 1 which gives me that a will be x 1 minus b and it is x 1 minus x 1 minus x 2 by 2 and that gives me the 2 x 1 minus x 1. So, it will be x 1 plus x 2 by 2. Now, I am able to find the value of x 1 uh, the value of a and b. So, from here I can write my vector x 1 and x 2 is equal to x 1 plus x 2 by 2 1 1 plus x 1 minus x 2 by 2 1 minus 1. Now, I after doing this. So, this is the linear transformation or linear combination equal to this one and this is a unique one. So, now I can define my what will be the t of any vector belongs to v 2. So, it will be written as as from the. So, it, it can be written as t of the whole values the whole vector or the whole linear combination and this can be written as t of x 1 and x 2. So, I can write this as x 1 plus x 2 by 2 t of 1 1 plus x 1 minus x 2 by 2 t of 1 minus 1. So, t 1 and minus 1. So, from here now it is given to us that the t 1 1 is mapping. So, this now we need to use these two values. So, suppose I have the vector 1 0 0 and 1 1 0 0. Now, I can write this as it is x 1 plus x 2 by 2 and this one I can write as a 1 0 0 0 plus and I have taken this 1 1 0 0 and using this one we can write as. So, it will become x 1 plus x 2 by 2 plus x 1 minus x 2 by 2 and I can write from here x 1 minus x 2 by 2 0 0 and it can be further solved and can be written. So, x 2 and x 2 will cancel out and from here it will be x 1 and now I can write x 1 minus x 2 by 2 0 0. 
So, this is my linear transformation. So, from here I can write that T of x 1 x 2 will be x 1 x 1 minus x 2 by 2. So, this is my linear transformation and this transformation if you see this will be unique also because we are taking the basis and the vectors. So, this is my image I have defined like this one. So, this transformation will be unique in this case and now from here you can verify that whether this transformation is satisfying the given condition or not. So, from here you can check just you can check that T of 1 1 will be what. So, if you see from here it will be 1 and then it will be 0 0 0 T of 1 minus 1. So, it will be 1 and 1 0 0. Also you can check T of 0 0 where it is going. So, if you see from here it is going to 0 0 0 0. So, it is the 0 element of V 2 and this is the 0 element of V 4. So, it is a my linear transformation uh, that will be unique based on this one. So, the same way we can define now based on this one I can define the another linear transformation. So, example 2 now suppose I want to define the linear transformation T from V 2 to V 2. Now, the same way I need a basis. So, basis suppose I take as 1 2 2 1 and the vector I am defining. So, let us define the T of 1 2 will be 3 0 and T of 2 1 will be 1 2. Suppose I take this one. So, I am taking another set of vectors that is 3 0 and 1 2. So, this is the vector I have taken. Now, the same way I want to define the linear transformation T. So, now from here I can define that any vector from V 2. So, this is the basically a linearly independent because it is basis. So, I can define from here that x 1 x 2 can be written as a of 1 2 plus b of 2 1. Now, from here the again I can write in this form. So, maybe I can from here I can define that this can be written as 1 2 2 1 and this is x 1 and x 2 this is my augmented matrix and after that I can use minus 2 r 1 plus r 2. So, it is 1 2 x 1 and minus 2 plus 2 0 minus 2. So, minus 4 plus 1 minus 3 and minus 2. So, it is x 2 minus 2 x 1. So, this will be the my echelon form and from here you can check that my b. So, minus 3 b will be x 2 minus 2 x 1. So, b will be here 2 x 1 minus x 2 by 3. So, I can write from here and my a plus 2 b is equal to x 1. So, a will be x minus 2 b. So, b is 2 x 1 minus x 2 by 3 and that will give you here 3 x minus 4 x 1 plus 2 x 2 by 3. So, I can write my a is here Uh, this is basically x 1. So, it is 2 x 2 minus x 1 by 3 and b is 
2 x 1 minus x 2 by 3. So, this way we can write now from here I can. So, from this value now I can write from here that my x 1 x 2 can be written as 2 x 2 minus x 1 by 3 1 2 plus 2 x 1 minus x 2 by 3 2 1 and then I can define my linear transformation as 2 x 2 minus x 1 by 3 t of 1 2 plus 2 x 1 3 t of 2 1. So, if you uh, see from here that a and b this is just the opposite sign whatever the a I have taken the b will be just the opposite of that. And now based on this one I can write that here it will be 2 x 2 x 1 by 3. So, this is my a this one I have defined 3 0. So, it will be 3 0 plus 2 x 1 x 2 by 3 and this is I define 1 2. Now, based on this one I can find out the complete linear transformation. So, I will write this as it will become T of x 1 and x 2 will become. So, 3 will cancel out. So, 2 x 2 minus x 1. So, it will be 2 x 2 minus x 1 and then <coughs> 0 and it will be plus 2 x 1 minus x 2, 2 x 1 minus x 2 by 3 and here it is 2 times. So, it will be 4 x 1 minus 2 x 2 by 3 and adding together. So, it will give you. So, this part I am adding component wise. So, this plus this. So, same thing only 3 times it will be. So, 3 plus 1 4. So, it will be 4 times 2 x 2 minus x 1 by 3. and it will become 4 x 1 minus 2 x 2 by 3 and that I can write that T of x 1 and x 2 will be 8 times x 2 minus 4 times x 1 by 3 and it is 4 x 1 minus 2 x 2 by 3. So, now this is the way we can define our linear transformation and after defining this linear transformation you can verify with the given uh, values you can verify whether it is coming or not or maybe also you can verify that 0 0 now it is going to be 0 0. So, that is verification one of the verification I have done. So, this is my linear transformation from V 2 to V 2. Now, after doing this one what will happen if we do not have the complete uh, basis as we are already given in this case that these bases are given to me and then we have defined the linear map. Now, the suppose I have a question that the example that determine a non zero linear transformation t from v2 to v2 
which maps all the vectors on a line. So, line I am taking x is equal to y on to the origin. So, this is my question. Now, what is going on here that in this case, so if you see from here it is V2 to V2. So, suppose I have a this is my V2, V2 is basically R square. So, V2 is So, in this case I have defined the line. So, this is my line. y is equal to x. So, it want a transformation which maps all the point on this line to suppose this is my another v 2. So, I want that this is my origin in this case. So, all the points should map to here on this line. So, this transformation is needed and it also want that it should be non zero. I cannot define the zero transformation that all the points from V 2 to V 2 maps to zero element. So, the question is that now I have a point here, here. So, this is one other another point, one another point, maybe another point, another point. What about those point? Because to find the linear transformation I need all the element from V 2 to V 2. Only then we are able to find the linear transformation. So, in this case now I can write that the since, since the line x is equal to y. So, this is a line I know that is a subspace of V 2 and we know that the basis of V 2 and having a basis. So, I can take the basis as 1 1 because if you take the 1 1 basis it will map the it will generate all the elements on this line. So, this is the basis and I know that the dimension of this subspace whatever the space subspace this is 1. Now, since we need to find the linear transformation from V 2 to V 2. So, to define linear transformation T from V 2 to V 2, we need a basis of V 2. Okay. So, for this one what I do I use the extension theorem. So, using extension theorem. So, subspace I call it maybe I will call it subspace uh, u. So, the subspace is I am taking u. So, by the extension theorem we can take a basis of V 2 as. So, what I do? I will take the basis 1 1 that is already there of this vector space uh, vector subspace u and then maybe I can define another I want the vector this should be linearly independent. So, I just take the simplicity I will just take 1 0 that is it because I know that this is a a linearly independent each other. So, I can define this basis. So, we can take this basis of V 2 and I call it basis B. Also, now we need to define the image of each element in the basis. So, also since T of 
1 1 will be 0 0 because that is already there we need to find out the the transformation which maps all the vectors on the line onto the origin so that should be there now suppose i if i define 1 0 is equal to 0 0 then this will give you 0 transformation but we need non zero transformation so this is not possible okay so what i need to define is that so i will define my t of 1 0 is equal to any other element so maybe i can define 1 0 going to the same element okay so 1 t of 1 0 i just take 1 0 so this is not possible so after defining this one now I have a t of 1 1 that is 0 0 and t of 1 0 that maps to 1 0. You can take any other element maybe I can define t of 1 0 goes to 0 1 or maybe t 1 0 goes to 1 1 any vector I can take so I have defined this value. Now from here now from this I can define my x 1 x 2 can be written as a of 1 1 plus b of 1 0. So, that gives me that my a plus b will be x 1 and my a will be x 2 and suppose it with x 2. So, from here I get my a is equal to x 2. <coughs> and my b will be x 1 minus x 2. So, from here I can write that x 1 and x 2 can be written as x 2 1 1 plus x 1 minus x 2 1 0. And now I define the transformation t x 1 and x 2. So, this can be written as x 2 t of 1 1 plus x 1 minus x 2 t of 1 0. <coughs> now, from here this will become x 2 and t 1 I have defined 0 0. So, it will be 0 0 plus x 1 minus x 2 and t I am taking 1 0. Now, from here my t of x 1 and x 2 can be written as. So, if I take the first component it will be x 1 minus x 2 and another component will be 0. So, this is my linear transformation. Now, we want to check whether it is satisfying the given condition or not. So, from here you can verify that now from here I can verify that t of any element I take suppose I take 2 2. So, it will goes to 0 0 all the elements on this line going to this one. What about if I take t of 0 0 then definitely here it is putting 0. So, it is going to 0 0. What about if I take t is equal to 1 2. So, it is going to so 1 2. So, it will be 1 minus 2. So, minus 1 0. t of 1 0 it will be 1 0. So, this is way we have defined. So, from here you can check that all the elements on this subspace this line will map to 0 and all other elements we have defined in this way. So, that is satisfying. So, this is a linear transformation which is moving from V 2 to V 2 and this is non zero transformation which maps the whole subspace into the 0 subspace. So, this way we can define the linear transformation. So, that is the way we can uh, uh, define the linear transformation here. Now, Suppose I take another example.
Suppose I have a transformation like this one T of 0 1 that goes to suppose element 3 4 T of 3 1 2 2 T of 3 2 that goes to 5 7. So, the question is that whether any linear transformation exists in this case or not. So, now from here check whether T exists. So, now from here you can see that I need a transformation basically from V 2 to V 2 because this is element coming from the V 2 and this is also element of V 2. So, I need to find that transformation this one, but we know that the set 0 1 3 1 and 3 2 is a basis is this set is linearly dependent because we know that if it is V 2 then the vectors more than 2 will be always linear dependent. So, not a basis for V 2. So, in this case I can say from here that from here I can say that T in this case does not exist. So, I cannot define a linear transformation from V 2 to V 2 which is satisfying this condition. So, this way we cannot define because in this case what is going to happen suppose somebody says uh, that we can take the first two elements here and then we can define the linear transformation that may be possible, but in that linear transformation it may happen that this is not satisfying the third condition is not satisfying. So, if the third condition not satisfying then we will say that the limit uh, this uh, linear transformation does not exist in this case. So, because here it is needed that T should satisfy all this condition and this, that is not possible. So, T does not exist in this case. Now, so after uh, doing this one so, let me stop here. So, in the today lecture we have discussed about uh, that how we can define a linear transformation based upon the given set of bases and set of vectors in the uh, in the image space that is from u to v and we have done few example based on that one. So, in the uh, next lecture we will also continue with this one and define some other properties of the linear transformation. So, thanks for watching and thanks very much. Mm -hmm.